we explained that in the class but okay so the basic reason behind giving the stories or narrating stories in front of anyone or reading out the stories it gives us the idea of simple past tense which is the main and basic reason of learning simple past tense through all the stories and whenever you read read them out so simple past tense and past perfect tense is the most common one which is used or past continuous however i have given those uh, models and i wanted you to create your own story can you do that yeah ma'am sure okay just say over it and let me know which you have you chosen according to the stack okay so okay. take a time take two three minutes <clears throat> Hansi, good evening. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling now? Yes, yeah, ma'am. I'm better. Feels like better. Yes. Hansi, <laughs> you were on fire yesterday. Your yes, points, your explanation. You were on fire yesterday. <laughs> it did job, I'm not. And Marcy, you have improved a lot in grammar. focusing upon that earlier you did not have the idea or even if you had the idea you were not aware of using the exact uh, tenses but now you actually concentrate upon that a lot which is the best thing that has come out of you yes i'm actually so, i read actually because... i read novel daily <laughs> at least four chapters स्पीकिंग स्किल्स है So your grammar skills are getting really better and very soon because I do remember the date also mm -hmm. when you have joined properly twenty first. So I was not expecting that you are going to improve this how drastically within twenty days or fifteen days. So if you are going to go in such way only, trust me, you are going to beat up yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mansi. Yesterday I have shared few uh, models of stories. Have we gone through it? Uh, like yes, ma'am. Okay, so you just have to narrate the story on any one of them. Fine. Okay. Just think about the story. Uh, If you, yes. Actually, I think two stories. Uh, like, <laughs> okay. Uh, first one is never act before you think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. Uh, okay. My uh, video is visible. Yes, yes. Your video is visible. I just wanted to check my uh, yes, that's all. I just wanted to check out okay. my friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. They are alone okay. in the they are alone in the second room. No? Okay. Uh, yesterday I uh, uh, read a chapter uh, of one woman, Sudha Murthy. Have you heard this name? uh she is yes. uh, ceo of uh, uh, infosys foundation so uh, yes. she uh, told a story so uh, like okay. uh, uh, like she is uh, working in a, uh, she was working in infosys foundation uh, for charity and and all things uh, she handled so uh, uh, one day she visited in a uh, in a village uh, 
to just for office work so that uh, she uh, meet a uh, one man in in his office so that mm-hmm. his, his man was very uh, well dressed and uh, well spoken and uh, he uh, he handled overall uh, business uh, actually she offered some charity and uh, uh, some some clothes uh, some money for uh, for orphanage so that uh, she uh, discussed about uh, about the uh, uh, about the things uh, to him mm-hmm. and uh, after that uh, meeting uh, he offered a cup of coffee uh, uh, to his home so both are uh, both were going to his home and after that uh, his um, uh, he uh, he has a uh, one uh, uh, child uh, like his name was uh, uh, like rahul so uh, he uh, he told uh, uh, he told her about the uh, certificates about the uh, like uh, Uh, she he proud uh, to him uh, like uh, she uh, sorry he uh, he grade uh, he, his grade was very good was very good in all subjects he received the prizes so he uh, told about his son about his son of his gold medal silver medal and all that things so uh, she uh, she uh, uh, thought uh, his uh, son was very intelligent and all that so that after some uh, some point he told her uh, he is uh, he was also a gold medalist uh, on that college time but uh, uh, he do, don't think he uh, he was not think about that uh, he, she is uh, she was also in in college so that uh, he, uh, he told like uh, i was a gold medalist on that that year so so that uh, she shocked uh, that he told about the gold medalist so she, uh, she thought actually she was a gold medalist on that year on that college so uh, uh, she asked uh, about that uh, um, like uh, please uh, see uh, please uh, saw me your gold medalist he told uh, the gold medalist is very important so he kept in a bank locker so uh, so that uh, she told why you kept uh, uh, this gold medal in a bank locker so uh, he told he told that uh, like uh, he is uh, sh- uh, actually gold medal was very important for him so that he kept in the bank locker so uh, okay uh, he she answered okay so after that uh, she told actually uh, in which year you uh, uh, received gold medalist actually that year i was a gold medalist on that college so uh, she he shocked about that so that is the lesson that uh, never act before you think that is yes. the point of that story very well good good mansi mansi the best part was that uh, your maximum part of simple past tense was used so that was the main reason that i have given you the stories or the morals of the story to create a story okay so you have actually mm-hmm. considered it perfect and you have tried it very well few mistakes were there we'll be uh, discussing about that later on hi ashu hi tarun how are you hi ma'am we are good evening we are good good evening uh, okay. tarun and ashu have you created any stories uh, no ma'am no 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 great no it's okay i understand you might be busy you might have can i ask you can i ask you something some confusion i have sure 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 actually the manasi i am not uh, correcting you right now uh, just uh, i have some confusion regarding uh, where we can use this uh, the word told or said many time manasi said in uh, her conversation told told but uh, we can rather than use yeah, uh, we can rather than use said also here we can use said also and told please uh, tell me good 
good mm-hmm. question now whenever we are telling the exact dialogue of a person and narrating it as it is so simply said he said then in written it is mentioned comma inverted comma chanted and exact dialogues but if you are telling a story or if you are narrating somebody's dialogue so you will simply say he told me that second thing whenever you want to say he said to me whenever you using said to this is called indirect speech is hum indirect speech kehte hain the question that ashu has raised so whenever you are going to use said to jahan pe bhi hum said to use karte hain so replacing that in indirect speech we use he told me or she told that boy and if you just have to use he said that simple use it in the, this way but this is a very lengthy topic to be discussed especially in a uh, class of speaking skills so we'll be discussing that the way we have done tenses also passive voice also this is also the most important topic to be used or to be uh, discussed when it comes to storytelling however i have so, given you storytelling so that you people come to know about these uh, things yes man singh actually i uh, i used to uh, told it is correct in uh, my story ha ha yes it is not wrong look uh, because you sometimes you were getting fumbled some uh, sometimes you were using said sometimes you were using told so we really want to mm-hmm. know that have you witnessed it if you, uh, look i'll be explaining this in hindi right now abhi hum kya kar rahe we are having conversation theek hai to abhi kya hoga mansi uh, main aapse baat kar rahi hu but for example ashu is listening to us abhi ashu humne sun raha hai now what is ashu going to do ashu is going to narrate the entire conversation of us to the fourth person now wo pura ka pura conversation wo pura ka pura jo hamare dialogues hain will be turned into simple past tense or into the past tense wo uh, aapka kya hota hai these are the rules simple present tense changes into simple tense present continuous mein abhi aap kya kare i am studying maine aapko kaha mansi i am studying Ashu has listened to our conversation. So, what would Ashu say to the fourth person? He would say that uh, Nidhi Ma'am said that she was studying. So here pronouns also get changed. Here uh, the uh, tenses are also changing. So this is something indirect speech, and it is a very lengthy topic. And then when when it comes to stories, so sometimes we use said, sometimes we we use told. Sometimes क्या होता है कि आपको dialogues बताने होते हैं. and if you're telling the di- direct dialogues you can use she said and direct dialogue okay now sometimes what happen you have to tell uh, the incident apne way mein aapko usi incident ko narrate karna hai so what would you say that he said that but agar aap said to use kar rahe ho means you have to replace said to in direct speech mein hum hamesha kya karte hain said to ko replace karte we use told this is the difference but this is very deep difference and you need a lot of practice upon it numerous classes are taken uh, this is something to be started from zero ye bilkul zero se start hota hai indirect speech and direct speech because this is lengthy and it takes a lot of time to be understood okay however i'm not going into it because uh, abhi we have just started with tenses passive voice is going on so all these would get miscellaneous and it would get a um, become a mixture so just don't want to get into it otherwise the question was very much valid okay yes ashu any other doubt yes, Yes, yes. Uh, one, one more thing. Uh, okay. We, uh, if I'm not wrong, we can't use every time to hold, hold in our uh, narration of a, a story. No, we cannot use. I'm it, saying the same it, thing. Ha! Yeah, it creates. It is, mon- it is like a. It monotonous some, sound. Uh, yeah. Monotonous. I am telling what we are using. Ha! Yeah, monotonous. एक वर्ड होता है मोनोटोनस मींस बार बार एक ही वर्ड को यूज करोगे बार बार एक ही चीज को यूज करोगे तो इट इज समटाइम्स लुक लाइक मोनोटोनस तो एक ही जैसा लगता है बार 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 रिप्लाइड रिप्लाइड सेड हां हां रिप्लाइड और फ्यू ऑफ द फ्रेजेस कैन बी यूज्ड है ना दिस हाउ रिप्लाइड विद एक्सप्रेशन रिप्लाइड विद द थ्रेटनिंग वॉइस और मींस वी यूज देयर एज imperative sort of uh, ways the imperative forms used ho jati hai usme like command requested he requested me then he commanded me he ordered me politely he understood me briefly so we can use numerous words only dependent upon the sentences you are using 
वो सेंटेंस जो आप कहना चाहते हैं यू आर गोइंग टू यूज द इम्पेरेटिव वर्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट इज इट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू दैट वॉज अ वेरी You will understand when I start with direct and indirect. Because direct and indirect, we will come across as you. That the words you want to replace, you want to replace. Like, like uh, for, for an instance, he uh, he really got stopped. So we will say that he uh, he was he replied with mesmerizing voice. He replied with mesmerizing voice. So in that sense, it gets changed. We will change the topic. We will get to know that imperative sentences can change. How can they? It is a very different topic in that. Okay, we will definitely discuss that. आपको बहुत अट्रैक्टिव फील हो रहा है और आप शॉक भी हो जाते हो ऑस्ट्रक रह जाना ऑस्ट्रक ए डब्ल्यू अच्छा लेट मी राइट दीज वर्ड्स इन द्रुप इन सेल्फ वॉट वॉज द फर्स्ट वर्ड बैंगी शर्टलेस सलमान खान फ्रॉम सलमान खान जी नो नो मैम इट इज नो नो मैम डेट इज नॉट आई I I send you a uh, one phrase. I send you one phrase uh, on ah, on, on this phrase. Uh, say to without shirt, actually. Okay. Okay, send it to me and I let you know. Okay. 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 Means uh, I guess idiomatic form may could be something else because there is idiomatic form also of the words in novels, especially especially in novels. Yes, may we use idiomatic form, which is like whatever the word is used for an instance. If you are saying shirtless. so it means without shirt but what happens sometimes uh, that is giving an idea of something related to it ki usse related hi meaning hoga for instance uh, it could be uh, very poor very bad so it could be something uh, derived from it so that idiomatic expression is only used in novels do send it to me and let you know um, yes ashu and tarun uh, would you like to think about the story mean by Okay. Only one story. Okay. This is. Ah, uh, the moral story. Uh, have you can choose that also, or any of the story. Okay, because I'll be actually discussing past, all the music later on. Yes, sir. Using past tense or present tense or. Yes, yes, yes. Stories are narrated in past tense. Yes, right. Okay, okay. By the way, it's coming really very well. And uh, we really want you to go for the video call like this. That's great. It is better. <laughs> Now you cannot eat. <laughs> Now you cannot. I am not able to. I am not able to eat right now. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Is already in front of me. Pindi banana is already in front of me. <laughs> Waiting for eight forty. <laughs> मानसी यू हैव स्टार्टेड द स्टोरी बाई सी आई डीड ये 
Is this sentence correct? All of you, please tell me. I read yesterday. If my critic is, others also have the right. I read yesterday. Um, in text, it is right, but in I'm... pronunciation, it is wrong. Hmm. Okay. I read it yesterday. But while speaking, we do this mistake. It is not just uh, she is doing, but most of the students does. Now, next like, to his home, at his home. Whenever we are talking about the home place, so we use at his home. Okay. Then, uh, Acha, this is a very common mistake that I have seen in most of the students, but I would like to correct it uh, right now. We use a uh, and one together. He has a one. And this mistake was done by Ashu also a few days back. I wanted to interrupt, but I did not. And then I forgot. So, a uh and one should not be used together because they are giving the same meanings. A uh is also used for singular. One is also used for singular. Why to use it twice? Okay. So, either use he has a or in that form. He has one. Right? Yes, he it was, was looking not odd. Good. I also it, it generally, listened that when Mansi said he has a boy, something like that. Huh, exactly. So uh, it becomes really odd, though these mistakes are really minor, but we need to focus upon. I already told you in the starting only. If you are focusing upon the grammar, focus upon the most odd parts. Because we so, don't want to one boy. Huh? He has one boy. Yes. He has a boy or he has no boy or he has a child in any of the form you can use, right? But use one of them. On the college time and uh, in the college time. So we will use in the college time. In the college time. Okay? Now, the question question which we were discussing in passive voice, he was not think. He did not think. Or he as simple past tense. Yeah, fir, agar continuously kehna hai, so you will use he was not thinking or if you want to use was plus verbs third form to be used as passive voice. He uh, was thought cannot be used and then it depends upon the passive voice. But abhi hum uh, use nahi kare passive voice. So was ke saath ing only in the verb. He was not thinking or he did not think. Depends upon the sentence that you are using. Okay. Past tense hoga simple. Ki wo usne bola tha. So he did not think. Ya usse socha tha, he did not think. Ya wo soch raha tha. So he was thinking. In that sense. Okay. On that year, on that college, no. In that year, in that college. Mansi, I'll be sending, mm -hmm. I'll be uh, circulating today or make me remind the group I have to send the prepositions list with the usages. So I'll be sharing that up. Okay, please make me remind. Okay. And uh, Mansi, you have said, Please show me. You wanted to say, please show me. That was something uh, you were trying to mention. Show word. Right? But we use it in that sense. That's all. Other mistakes possible. Varnika, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. Okay. After Varnika, uh, Ashu and then Tarun. Be ready with your students. Okay. Ma'am, I have a, a doubt. Uh, okay. Use, yeah. uh, like he hmm. has a boy. It is, uh, uh, it is incorrect. No, now he it is has... correct. Yeah, ha. Yeah, to uh, use karna hai. either use a uh, or use one. One. Because dono ko meaning is same. A uh, ka matlab bhi use ho gaya, one ka matlab bhi use. So we need to use only one. Okay. Maine kya bola tha? He has a one. He has a one boy. So both of them using together. Creates an odd part. Okay. Yes, but we can now start. Okay, ma'am. So I'm sure I've chosen the topic. Never judge a book by its cover. So uh Deepa was uh, going to school in the village where she was a known bell. So uh it was like for three uh weeks. She came to the school uh, very late and the teacher gave her punishment. And the fourth week she didn't come and 
uh, like the teacher thought that she will never come because of the severe punishments. But on the fifth week, she has returned. And uh, and she came early than other students. The teacher has punished her for not coming for the other week and has also uh, uh, like appreciated her for coming early than other students. Then uh, Deepa raised her hand and uh, asked the teacher if she could tell something. She told that, that uh, she was being raised by a single mother without like a sibling then uh, like uh, the one week ago that her mother fell I mean wait, she fell ill and uh, like so she had to go to the hospital every morning and she had to take care of her mother which uh, probably was like really hard for her every morning she took care of her mother and while Deepa was narrating the story uh, the teachers the tears of the teacher rolled out of her eyes and the moral of the story is never judge a book by nice short brief and concise one good Parnika so now if I would ask uh, I would like to tell about the simple questions or all about uh, validating your simple questions then you have done that yes Ash uh, mm -hmm. please do uh, uh, Okay. So I don't know the moral, but I know the story. So uh, you can decide what is the moral. Ah, we are saying the creator. We are here to create that. So, so the story is uh, is from the era of nineteen ninety nine nine hundred ninety nine. Uh, from 1999 to 2018 BC. In that era, the era was a war. So in that war, there were two sides, mainly English and the Danes. But today's, in today's era, it is Nordic countries. So it was between, between UK and the Nordic countries. So the Danes were on the, on the move of capturing England and they were very, they were very furious uh, warriors. But there was one warrior whose name is Thors. He was like a true warrior. But he was fighting like here and there. He was killing people. But after some time, because he was a true warrior, he, he was set as a knight of the king. And he married king's daughter. So when he married and when he had a child from her, then he realized that war is not something that a child should see. So what he did hmm. with his uh, wife and with his child, he left in between a war. He, he sneaked in, not left, he left in between a war and uh, form a country far, far away from the place where war is not there, where slavery is not there. So he hmm. basically rehabilitated a country where no nothing, no, nothing known as slavery or war. They lived there for 10 to 15 years then he had also a boy whose name was Thorfinn. Hmm. So what happened after 10 to 15 years, the war was stopped earlier because when he left, the war was stopped. But then again, the sparks were again born of war after 15 years. So then the, the, then, uh, the king's uh, soldiers found him that he is, he is uh, living in that Iceland. So they got there and then they found that Thor is living here. So when they found him, they said, you have to come with us. He, he instantly said, no, I will not come. But then, he, then they said that you can see we are so powerful. You cannot stop us. We will capture this whole village and we will do something very heinous to this place. So you think, choose between you and this place. So he chose himself that, okay, I will go with you guys. So, but when they came, all the villagers very, were very excited. Because for them, they haven't seen war. So war was a fascinating thing for them. It was like a true, you can, you can only prove yourself as a man if you go to a war and kill a person, and kill the enemy. So it was very fascinating to them. So they thought to join Thorfinn, Thors, sorry, Thors. They joined Thors. Thors were very, uh, Thors was, was, Thors did not want them to join, but they were very bullish, not, they were very uh, obstinate. That they want to that they want to join. So 
Thor said, okay, you can join. So what he did with the, with the sailor, he said that, okay, we are going to Iceland. We are then from there, we will say that we are going to rest there for the night and leave tomorrow. So what they will do in that night, they will uh, leave all the child there and then leave alone with the sailor. So he thought that. So in, in so when they left from the village, everyone was very happy. Everyone was very exciting that we are going on a war. Everyone you know find there some sword and shield and carry carry it with them. So after when they reached that Iceland, they found there was something fishy. There were pirates who were bought from the uh, who were bought from the the uh, king's army. So it was all a trap to capture Thor's and kill him. So, but then they found that there are some kids with him. So what they did, they set archers above the mountain and there were some uh, pirates in front of him, around 50 to 60 pirates, and they blocked the uh, U-turn path. Like They cannot U-turn and they cannot move forward. So they blocked every path. So now Thor's, was, Thor's has to fight to them. Thor said, I'm not going to fight, let us go. But they, they replied that we cannot. So Thor's had no other reason. Thor's had no other option than to fight. It was the last resort. So he chose to fight. And he beaten around 20 to 30 pirates at the, at, in just 10 seconds. So after that, when they thought that, okay, he's so powerful, we cannot beat him. So Thor said to them, okay, bring me a leader. I'm, I will fight him in a duel. If he wins, then he can kill me. If I win, then he will ha- then he will have to leave us alone, and we will go. With- we will go. He said that. After that, the leader agreed, and they fought on a duel. So both the- both the warriors were very furious, and uh, furious. And when they fought uh, later, the pirate leader uh, lost, and Thor Thor's win. But uh, what happened? The Thor's kid, that name is Thorfinn, who was also there at that ship, they captured that ship and kidnapped basically and said that, okay, we we don't know anything, we don't know the rules. It's you and you. You have to die. I, you have to die or either the kids and you have to die. So Thor's had to choose and Thor chose, okay, kill me, but leave those kids. So everyone killed him. So the archers, uh, the archers, they started throwing uh, uh, throwing uh, stones at each other. Okay, they started throwing all the arrows from the bows. throwing all the arrows from the bows to Thorfinn to Thor's, and he died instantly at that moment. So Thorfinn was seeing that the, the young kid of six years old, he was th- all seeing that, that how his father is dying. So in that last moment, what Thor, Thor said, his father said that you have no enemy. No one is your enemy. Don't think that these guys who has killed me are your enemies. No one has enemies. Think as, and there's one thing that he said, become a true warrior. He said, and then he died. So Thorfinn was in anger, angry, angry state, and was very... Uh, was angry and sobbing. Okay. Both like okay. hmm. Not, uh, so that is right. So and he was also in a somber state. I'm writing this word here. Somber. somber state. Okay. So everyone left beside Thorfinn. He wanted revenge. He wanted to kill that leader who lost on a duel but still killed his father. So he thought that I have to kill him. So he went on a vengeance path where he had to kill him no matter what. So what happened? The leader was very sharp and quick-witted. He used him for his own uh, heinous crimes. He used him to capture uh, villages and kill people. So he at, at a later stage Thorfinn became a warrior, not a true warrior, but a warrior who can kill anyone, but he was not a true warrior. So what happened? So it's story too long, but I will say that at no. the end of the story, 
I can say. Yeah, sure. Definitely, this is the opportunity you people are getting to speak. So why do feel? Okay, so what happened? Happy? So the king, the king of Denmark, the king of Danish has two child. Had two child, children. I'm saying had two children. One was Harald. Another one was Canute. Since now there are two childs, the higher to the throne will be will have clashes because there were people who were in in favor of the elder one. There were other who were in favor of younger one. So king thought that okay, it might uh, have, have that uh, the kingdom might fall and there will be there must be there can be a clash. So king thought that okay. And one thing was also important. The younger child was into Christianity, and he was a very kind of a noble person. He did not uh, saw wars. He was like a normal person. Pious. Whereas the elder, very pure. Pious. Yeah, pious. Very, very pure. Children are actually considered as pious. Yeah. Whereas the older one was furious. He was a warrior. He fought many battles and won. So. What happened? Then King thought, okay, this is going to happen. So he thought that he had to kill the younger child to keep the crown as it is to to do not so that his kingdom do not fall. Hmm. So what happened? What he did? He sent the younger one who was pious, 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 hmm. to a war. He said that you have to win that war. But because he was not that in that state that he can war win. So in opposite, he, there was a very strong warrior who was ranked as number two. So Thor's was number one. He was ranked as number two. So in opposite of them, him there was ranked number two warrior. So he lost that war and he captured him. The the number two number one was Thor Kill. Oh. So everyone is Thor 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 Kill. <laughs> so Thor Kill captured Kenyut, the younger prince. He captured him and he said, "I am going to sell you to the other king, the England king, because he may give me some money, or I am going to give you back to your king, to your father. He may also give me some money." So in both the ways, it was a win-win situation to Thor kill. Hmm. 